Well, Charlie, I suppose it was a tough loss to take last week, given the fact that there were multiple times that the tide could have uh, ran away and with a win there. Yeah, um, obviously unfortunate how we lost in the end. Um, you know, two points in it, and obviously the kick at the end, um, which we missed, gave us a chance. But you know, we won the fight the whole 80 minutes, which I'm very proud of the boys. Um, uh, really stuck to it, being down 10-0 quite early. Showed that we'd come back and uh, stay in the fight. But uh, a lot of positives to take out of it. Obviously disappointing, but uh, we go again this week. You were packing down with Ned Hannigan. It was great to see him back in the starting line. Yeah, Ned's a player that brings a lot of energy um, when he plays. It really helps when you know, you're on the field and you're really tired. He, he brings that energy uh, to the pack. Um, you know, he's a quality player. He showed on the weekend how strong he carries with the ball and obviously got a nice turnover there in our 22 as well. So, um, yeah, it's good to have him back. How was the confidence after the match? Obviously, there was a bit of hurt. You had the first match at home, didn't get the chocolates. But you must have been uh, proud of the team, you know, matching it against the tough, team, tough Kiwi opponent. Yeah, obviously, like I said, was, we felt pretty disappointed at the end, like we really felt we should have taken that. Um, but like I said, lots of positives to take out of it. We gave, our cha gave ourselves a chance at the end, you know, we were you know, 22 with five minutes to go and we went up the field and gave ourselves that chance at the end. Um, but so plenty of positives to take out this week, uh, last week and then uh, we'll go again this week. Blues got a really you know, potent back row, sort of test standard almost. Um, how important is it for you guys to step up and really uh, have a crack at them this week? Yeah, they got unreal back row. Obviously, Satutu is awesome with the ball. Dolts is um, good around the field in general. Um, yeah, all about quality back row. You know, we've just got to fight, fight fire with fire. We, we, we feel like we've got a quality back row ourselves. Um, so, yeah, I think the only thing with the blue is big pack. you just got to take it to them. Yes, you look at sort of across the board and you see you know, results like the Reds beat the Chiefs, you guys beat the Crusaders last week. Do you feel that that sort of that gap between the Australian and New Zealand's eyes in terms of, you know, consistency in terms of on the field is really sort of starting to sort of get smaller and smaller? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, I think for Australian rugby, it's always been there. I think they've just lacked a bit of confidence. Um, so obviously us getting up against the Crusaders, uh, Reds have been showing really well. Obviously a couple weeks ago they just lost to Hurricanes and then they've beaten the Chiefs. So the gap's definitely closing. Um, it's just about being consistent and we know ourselves um, it's the consistency that you know, really probably let us down on the weekend. Um, we've just got to keep that up. Yeah, so talk about sort of confidence, blue side, which are coming up from Los Angeles, the Caracans, but two really good wins to sort of start the season. What's that sort of keys to what's shutting that down and really sort of, I guess, rebounding after a loss in that fashion as an Islanders? Yeah, I um, feel like they've got a really strong back three. Obviously, Talia, um, Zan, Sol uh, Zan Sullivan, O'Sullivan's um, pretty good. Um, you know, big pack, like I said, they're going to try to come straight down your throat. Um, we've just got to fight fire with fire. It's going to be a, definitely a bit of a forward pack mentality where we're just going to be buttonheads this whole game. So, um, yeah, we feel if we, if we can take it back to them through the middle, um, yeah, we'll have a good chance in this game. Is there extra spice for you being a Kiwi playing against those Kiwi side guys you probably would know better than most? Yeah, I always, I mean, for me, I'm quite lucky. Like I said, I've played these, these guys all through age group and I know a few of them. So, being able to play them week in, week out. Is, Pretty exciting, and yeah, me and Dalton have come across each other a few times over the years, so it's uh, pretty good, pretty exciting to go up against. Obviously, at all back number seven, he's playing quality footy at the moment, so big test for myself. I'm um, looking forward to it, and it uh, should be a good game. How deep does that rivalry slash friendship run? Um, I guess, like me growing up as a Cantabrian, and he's from Auckland, that rivalry growing up through the age grades has always been quite big. Um, but yeah, I guess we're just got to. Let the footy do the talking on the field and see how we go. Um, you had to pick one or two things in your game you're looking, you've been looking to work on this year, what would they be? Um, yeah, haven't had much luck around the breakdown I guess, which is quite disappointing. Um, you know, I'm working really hard with Gilly here, our defensive coach, and doing a bit of overtime there at the breakdown and hopefully get a few more turnovers for the boys. Um, but no, I think as each week goes I'm getting a little bit better and better. Um, obviously game fitness is coming in well as well. so. Um, you know, it's only a matter of time I'll get a bit of pay there, so I just got to keep consist uh, consistently trained there and I'll get them. Well, speaking from Canberra, what was the sort of actual feeling in the winner 400 game? I guess a follow up. What's the sort of the feeling for you when you see a team like that going through? Yeah, um, it's quite weird, isn't it? Like, it's, uh, we haven't seen in Crusaders go 0 3 since '96, I think. Um, it's actually pretty, pretty nuts. Um, but hey, they obviously lost a few pretty key players. Um, new coach in there as well. You know, it's only going to be a matter of time before they turn that around. Quality franchise like that always finds a way to, you know, 
uh, get wins. So I'm sure they'll turn up this week against, uh, I think they're playing the Canes, so yeah. Charlie, another home game this week. Uh, how excited are the team to sort of build on that uh, impressive performance against the Highlanders and make the crowd happy once more? Yeah, um, good to be back home. Um, the crowd on uh, Friday night was awesome. Um, they really lift us on the field when you know we're going through those tough times. They really were really loud out there and um, you know really lifting the spirits. So um, hopefully we can put on a performance for them this week and uh, you know play a brand of rugby that you know they enjoyed. Come watching, come watching.